Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today is Friday and I am here to continue to motivate you guys. I hope you all had a blessed week. And for some people, you know, it may be different. Somebody might have had a good week. Someone might have had a bad week. But I want to encourage you guys to stand firm, keep faith, fight the good fight because you are on the right path. No matter what you see, no matter what you face, know that you are unique. And everything is shaping you to be the best version of yourself. Know that, own it, and live it. Um, today's scripture, what I want to lead you guys with is Hebrews 11.1, 1, which is now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Um, a lot of the times, you know, when it comes to faith, you know, we can be of little faith or we can not be as faithful as we are, you know, because of our circumstances, you know, because of our situation at hand. But I want to let you guys know that everything that you're going through, all of your experiences, you know, all of your ups and downs, the turmoil, the chaos is preparing you for everything you pray for, everything that, you know, you manifesting, you know, everything that you want, you can have, but you just got to keep faith. You know, we look at our circumstances and we allow that to, to drive us. We allow that to dictate if God is there or not. We allow that to determine, you know, whether or not we're going to lean on our own understanding or lean on God's understanding. But I want to tell you to lean on God's understanding. Keep faith in Him. You know, recall the, recall the deeds that He's done for you in the past. You know, we get in new seasons and forget that just last season we was going through it, but you made it through the season. You know, you got to understand the bigger picture. You got to look for the lesson and not be selfish and be me, me, me. God, why is happening to me? Questioning God. But understand that everything he's taking you through is for a reason. He's testing your faith. He want to know if you're standing firm. You know, you may be isolated. You may feel like God is quiet right now. Yes, he may be, but he want to test your faith. He want to know that what you prayed about you want it that bad that you're going to, you know, take everything that you're going through and use it as, you know, a positive, you know. A lot of the times we look at our past, you know, and we allow that to drive us, but, or we allow that to hurt us, you know. But looking into your past, you know, reflecting, you know, help that faith. You know, going back into all the things you've been through, you came out victorious, you know, and you may have been of little faith at that time, but... God still came through. He still came through in the end and showed you his worthiness. A lot of times we get caught up in putting a, a face on a blessing. You know, we put a face on or a limit on what God can do. You know, we got to understand that he has all power. He is the creator. He is the one that can turn anything around. You know, a lot of the times, at least for myself, I put a, a face on a blessing. You know, I look at ways God blessed me, you know, before in the past and you know, I let that keep my spirit up, but when he don't bless me in that way, when he don't use that same person to bless me, when he don't use, you know, that job or, you know, that miracle as he did last time, I allowed that to, to drive me and I put a face on, ble on, on the blessing. And when it don't happen in that way, you know, that's when I lean on my own understanding. That's when I start to lose faith, you know, or, you know, think God is not there, but he really is. You know, so recall the things that he's done already, you know, to stand firm and fight the good fight. But don't put a face on the blessing because that's going to cause you to challenge God. You know, God, man, I thought you was here. You know, God, I thought, you know, you was going to do this and do that. You know, but here I am, you know, thinking me, 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 selfish about what God doing. But behind the scenes, he's working. You know, he's a way maker, a miracle worker, a promise keeper, light in the darkness, even when he not there or speaking to you, his work is being done. You know, you just got to stand firm and continue to fight. Um, another thing is you have not because you ask not. You know, God tell you, come to me, you know, ask me and it will be given unto you. You know, but a lot of the times we we don't have that tenacity, you know, to, to stand firm and fight the good fight. You know, a lot of the times our patience is not there. You know, we get anxious, we our worries, you know, anxiety, it, 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 it get to us and you know, that's the way the devil gets to you. You know, one thing I want to let you guys know is the devil is all-knowing. 
you know, just as God know everything, the devil know everything. You know, the devil is the one who tempt. God is the one who tests. You know, don't allow temptations to allow you to fall short of faith. You know, that's the way the devil sweep in. You know, he tempts you to look at your situation like, man, my bills do. You know, I ain't got the money right now. Or, man, this car note do. Or, you know, something big coming up and I don't, I'm not prepared for it. You know, he wants you to look at that and, 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 and look at God and view God in a different way. He want to change your perspective. You know, by using the negative or the suffering. And really, you know, that suffering is God kindness. You know, because through that suffering, through all that, once you get through it, you're going to understand. You know that, man, you're going to look back. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of situations we've been in and we look back on and it's like, dang, I was really tripping. You know, in that in that moment, I was tripping. And, you know, it wasn't even that bad. But in the end, you praise God. You know, in the end, you saw God, you know, promise. He kept his promise. You saw the lessons you learned from it, you know, and I want to encourage you guys to look for the lesson, you know, within the circumstances, whether good or bad, look for the lessons, you know, the bigger picture, because through it all, it's something to learn from it, through it all, it's something to gain from it, you know, from the hurt, the good, and the bad, you know, so keep faith, be patient, and as well, just as you have not, because you ask not, you have to put in the work, faith without work is dead, you know, a lot of us pray but we don't put in the work to go get it you know and put ourselves in position you got to know that once you pray for it god automatically shipped it out to you but we get caught up in patience you know waiting his timing you know know that his timing is perfect you know know that he's going to come through as he said and he done it before numerous of times but out of us being selfish out of us being you know focused on us you know in our situation um we forget, you know, that he came through all those other times and we allow current situations to get us through. You know, think about, you know, trees and flowers. You know, one scripture I like as well is Matthew 6, um, 28. And don't worry about the, 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 the flowers, the clothing of the flowers. You know, see how God grow them. See how he, you know, allow them to blossom. You know, think of a tree. You know, the seasons the tree go through. You know, winter, spring, summer, fall. You know, it go to that through the winter where, you know, it's cold. You know, it's no leaves. But even in the winter, the tree is still getting the nutrients um, from the soil. It's still building even in the winter. Then you see the spring. That's when the leaves start to come. You know, you start to see the blooming. You start to see the flowers. Now, it's different seasons. But as you acknowledge and you track the growth of that tree, you know, in the different um looks of it you know through each season you see the tree getting better and better you know through the through the spring you know it blossom it blooms you know pretty colors then it start to fall you know that's when things are getting you know rocky you know it start to fall all the leaves are falling off life's getting hard you know then it's summer you know what i'm saying summer you know it's hot you know you really in the desert you know you're going through it but you're learning you're scratching and clawing so you got a vision um, a tree, you know, think of your life as a tree, you know, going through different seasons and, you know, through that season, know that everything is going to get better, you know, and keep faith, man, keep praying, fight the good fight, stand firm, you know, know that everything you're going through is working, you know, and know that you are unique, you know, we all have different experiences, you know, reach out to someone, talk to someone, you know, when your faith is down, talk to someone who who have as much faith as you, you know, because everybody waver in faith, you know, everybody is up and down, and it's best that you get in contact, surround yourself with people who can elevate you, you know, mentally, spiritually, physically, you know, get around people that's going to, you know, get your mind back right, you know, when you have a little faith, you know, so I want to encourage you guys to keep faith, man, stand firm, you know, and know that it's going to get better, know that your situation is not what you think it is, you know, look at it for the better, and man, you're going to get through, I'm here for you guys, you know, you guys can drop prayer requests, you guys can let me know, you know, what you want to hear, you know, what you want to see, what content, um, remember, like, comment, subscribe, and man, thank you guys for listening in.